the NAAFS Finish of the Week. Brought to you by Intimidation Clothing and Evolve MMA. The NAAFS, where the battle begins. And now, introducing fighting out of the John P. Lennon Red Corner, Julian Night Train Lane. And now, his opponent fighting out of the B3 Enterprises Blue Corner, Vic Big Siv Crenshaw. I mean, like three of my best fighters, Anthony Pettis, Eric Koch, and Alan Belcher, they've been doing martial arts since they're little kids. I mean, Anthony Pettis, he works with Ben Askren for two months, and he learns how to offensive wrestle. He's like GSP, he picks stuff up like that. Like crazy. Yeah. Well, Julian Lane's doing a nice job here. Turning the tide in this fight, actually, I think. I agree. And he sits and back for a guillotine. Yeah. And he, unlike last round, oh, yeah, he is tapping like crazy. Wow, he had to tap with his feet. Yeah. Wow, wicked, wicked guillotine show. And he is pumped. Can always come back with that last second uh, knockout or submission. There it is. He pulled it and rolls it. And yeah, it rolls it right there. That's where you finish it. Yeah, he was tapping with his feet, with his hands. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a guillotine choke at three minutes and 49 seconds of round number two. Your winner, Julian Lay. Don't miss the intensity the NAAFS brings to a city near you. Saturday, July 14th, the NAAFS invades Chaparral's Community Center for Combat Challenge. Then Saturday, August 4th, it's Caged Vengeance 11 at One Wellness Sports and Health in East Lake, Ohio. August 17th, it's Rock and Rumble. Jacob's Pavilion at Nautica in Cleveland. And on Saturday, August 25th, the NAAFS takes the show across state lines live at the Charleston Convention Center in West Virginia. Tickets for these spectacular events are available at all participating discount drug marts or simply log on to NAAFS.tv. The NAAFS, where the battle begins.